Hey guys, it's Jason Webb. This is the show that highlights local business leaders and the movers and shakers of Minnesota. Welcome to Minnesota Made. Okay guys, I'm sitting here with Dustin Carter with Platinum Restoration and Remodeling. Right? Did I get that right? That's right. We're over in Rogers, Minnesota and uh, you know, Dustin has an interesting backstory he was willing to share with me because if you ever meet Dustin in real life, he's got a unique scar across his head. And uh, so before we get to that, Dustin, let's talk a little bit about where you're from, um, what you did after high school, and what led you to the point of being one of the owners over here at Platinum. Okay. Um... So after, well, while I was in high school still, started um, in the construction trades, um, being just like a cleanup guy um, for a roofing crews. You know, okay. take the garbage on the ground, throw it in the dumpster. Yep. Um, really just, just grunt work. Um, 15, 16 years old? Yep, yep, when I was 16, when I got a license, I could drive to the job sites. Um, that was your first job? Right out of the gate? Uh, that was the first job I drove to. Okay. Uh, you know, I worked at Burger King before uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, just did the cleanup stuff for a while, uh -huh. um, worked my way up to being on the crew um, and, and actually putting the shingles on. Um, from there, I progressed into different uh, aspects of the building industry. So I kind of dabbled in, in framing and trimming, um, insulation, drywall, I mean, you name it, I've done it. Okay. Um, and kind of. Uh, when the oil boom hit out in yeah. North Dakota, yeah. I was out there. Were you? Oh yeah, were custom, custom building man? houses. Oh, you're doing a building out there. Yeah, you weren't yeah. working on a rig or no, 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 <laughs> no. That's uh, not my style. Um, nope, just doing uh, custom remodels of houses out there. Maybe million dollar houses. So plus. what can you say about that experience? I mean, I heard stories about going to Walmart and <laughs> nothing on the shelves at Walmart around there. I mean. What was your experience working out there? Um, the same. It was really, really dirty. And there was just garbage in the streets, you know, in like oh, the yeah. in the gutters. Yeah. And there, there was just garbage and trash everywhere. Uh, it was so like the city workers couldn't keep up with uh, the with the load. Placed no, on them. no, and the, like the man camps were full, and uh, they were trying to build hotels as fast as they could, but um, still wasn't enough. I I didn't. I mean, I stayed in a camper on site wherever wherever you were working. wherever I was working, so that was nice. Yeah. Didn't have to uh, try get, to find hotels that were overbooked and that type right. of thing. Yeah, yeah, the man camps were they were they were dangerous too. What's a, what, so? What's a man camp? Exactly? Uh, the man camp is it was basically like a bunch of uh, like shipping container type houses. You know, like a yeah. two bedroom little houses, just, just side, by side, side by side by side by side on a. Yeah, on a, on a big lot, and so how many people might be living on the camp? Would you just um, guess? Hundreds, <sighs> hundreds. Yeah, yeah. There were the hundreds, and, the, and there was crime. A lot, and <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of crime. Um, there were people just like being murdered and beat for no reason in the middle of the night. And so you, I mean, you gotta imagine these guys out there making a buttload of money on the oil rigs yeah. or, with nowhere to spend it. They're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's going stir right? crazy. Yeah, so they have all this money and they want to spend it and they are away from their families or home and they just cause trouble. Yeah. They have a... Did you come across and did you I stayed, get mugged or anything? No, no, I didn't go in there ever. <laughs> I drove past it and I would talk to some of the guys at the gas station there, but no, no, I avoided that place. So is all that dried up now? I mean, uh, no pun intended on oil, but uh, <laughs> that's all man camps are done with as far as you know? As far as I know, yeah. Um, they kind of moved on from from where they were, like in Williston was pretty big there. Yeah. But, um, no, they, they pretty much moved on. The oil boom is not booming anymore. Yeah, so. yeah. price of oil is way down. Yeah. 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 Alright, so you're out in North Dakota doing some miscellaneous uh, contract type work. And uh, how long were you out there for? Uh, about a year and a half. And you weren't self-employed at this time, were you? I, I, was, uh, I was. I was a 1099 uh, okay. subcontractor okay. Um, for a general contractor at that time. Okay. Um, 
but he, the paycheck stopped coming. Oh. Right? There was, so a, there was a money flow issue. <laughs> um, so I came back and that's, that's when I started with Platinum here. Okay. All right. So that's back in like 2012, I in think 2012, you started? 2012, yep. And you start this with a buddy, one one other guy, or like, yeah, what, so, what was the game plan here? Uh, Andy uh, was the one who who started the company. Um, I mean, he, like filed the business name and everything in 2011. Okay. Um, didn't actually do anything with it till 2012. Okay. Uh, I had a lot of years in, in roofing experience. Yeah. I've, I've never had any sales experience, and it really made me uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, to even think about that, the sales part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you're more of the technician. Like yeah. you know how to do do the, the things. Right. Yeah. yeah. I could I could explain to you exactly the process of how that roof should go on. Yeah. Which is something that a lot of salespeople uh, don't know. Right. So you have the upper hand with that stuff, then, right? And it and it worked. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people would rather be educated than sold. Yeah. I mean, that's how perfect. Like I always felt both as a salesperson and being sold too, uh, the best salespeople are the educators, right? Yeah. Like, teach me what it is that I need to know before I buy this, maybe give me some options, and let me think about it or let me choose. You know, it's that easy. And so, honesty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And follow through and all that stuff. But the education piece is great. And uh, so, okay, so 2012, Andy files the paperwork in 2011. You come on in 2012, and was that the idea? You're gonna fill the sales role? Yeah, that was that was the idea. Um, Andy had had uh, he had worked for uh, another contractor doing the same thing, um, but he he's just not very strong in the sales aspect side of yeah. things. He's really stupid good with numbers okay um and he's very organized with papers and stuff which yeah. is something i'm not so we kind of we're kind of the opposite uh yeah you do you just don't look that bad i cleaned up this morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was it was bad <laughs> all right um all right so like when you stopped by it was it was bad right there was, there was shit everywhere <laughs> it happens it's like that left brain, right brain thing, I think. Right? Yeah, I that's. Just... I don't know which one I am. Um, left. I'm left. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm very organized. I'm like your partner over there. Well, <laughs> they teach their own. There's Good a game. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Um, all right. So 2012. You know, I alluded to at the beginning of the um, of the recording that you have this scar that goes from ear to ear and. Uh, you're telling that story and it's very interesting. Uh, do you mind sharing it? Oh, I can. Okay, so the, bring us back. You were um, on a roof. Uh, you were like, I think you said 21? I was, yeah. 21 years old, okay. I had just turned 21 uh, in the winter time. You know, my birthday's in November. Um, I just got too, too close to the edge. It was a little slippery, you know, ice, uh, on the ice water actually. Um, and, and I kind of Plinkoed my way down the, down the decks on yeah, the yeah. So you fall and you're kind of bouncing back and forth right. all the way down. Yeah, just kind of getting tossed around from side to side yeah. until I finally landed on the ground. Uh, my feet buckled, my my whole body buckled, uh -huh. um, and I and I smacked my my forehead on the steps going into the building. And uh, yeah, so I, they had to put me in a in a coma for a couple of weeks and did some surgery. But you, I mean, first you popped up and you're wandering down the road. I did, yeah. <laughs> I, I got up and I started walking and I couldn't tell you why. Um, yeah, I was just, you had a place to go. Yeah, I was going somewhere. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was as bad as it was. Uh, I just thought I hit my head and had a bad fall and he'd walk it off maybe, <laughs> you know, Jeez. until the uh, ambulance caught up to me because they followed the blood trail. Yeah. Um, and and they yeah, they made sure that I knew it was something serious. Yeah. Um, took me to the local hospital in Monticello, where they immediately said that they couldn't help me, and uh, had to go to HCMC. Jeez. Uh, so that's yeah. where they they did some reconstructive surgery. Yeah, and you got titanium in there now. It is yeah. titanium. Yeah. And uh, one other thing that you mentioned that I found interesting that because you have a like a metal plate here. That when it gets cold out, it's almost like instant, literal, brain freeze. Yeah. Because it, I don't know, conducts cold to the brain. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah I, I, it is 
there is no bone there to, to separate and insulate my brain, yeah. so it just freezes. They didn't so, do any spray foam on the inside. No, they should have. <laughs> they should have. Some of that great stuff from a can. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Um, all right. So bring it back to 2012. You guys get this up and running. You're out uh, doing the sales piece and things are going well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, I stumbled my way through uh, talking to people and uh, just like this is something new for me. <laughs> you know, uh, that right? was something new <laughs> then, yeah. and um, I've this whole time, this whole journey since then has all, been all about getting out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. um, Good. and doing, forcing myself to do the things that I don't want to do but yeah. need to do. Yeah, and yeah, it's only it's only made things better and stronger. Um, you know, so for a while there, it was just me doing all the sales for the company. Awesome. Um, I wanted a time, you know, try to help a friend, you know, post on Facebook, hey, mm. who needs a job? Oh. Um, and uh, I'd take on some friends and, you know, a friend at a time and try sure. to help them uh, get their life together because uh, I realized after my first year doing this that there's, it's, it's an actual career that you could do. Um, right. And I started making more money than most, most of my friends. Sure. Actually, when I realized the money that I made not actually doing the work, but just talking about the work. Right. I was really mad at my younger self for all the years that I was actually doing the work. Yeah, pounding the nails. Yeah, for yeah. minimal pay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I really strived to get people working that had some construction experience. Yeah. Um, because I feel like they were more knowledgeable. I don't want to hire a, a, a car salesman. Right. right. I don't want right. a slick tongue person. I want somebody who knows what they're talking knows about. Knows the process. And who genuinely wants to help people. Right. I right. mean, I've kept that in the forefront of my mind the entire time is helping people, mm -hmm. not to get uh, screwed over by maybe a different contractor or insurance company. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just making people aware of of their rights um, mm -hmm. and the options available to them mm -hmm. is is huge. So I mean. Even in my, uh, my like, uh, sales rep's uh, employment agreement, it's mm -hmm. in capital, the whole line, do not lie. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah if you I'm don't sorry. know the answer to a question, ask. Right. You don't, don't, don't lie to people because uh, contractors have a bad enough name, a yeah. bad enough rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to contribute to that at all. Right. Oh, I agree. Um, so, yeah, uh, it was actually... This year is the first year that I have uh, I hired a recruiter. Okay. This year um, to help you find talented salespeople. Correct. Okay. Yeah, um, and I went through four weeks of interviews, and two two days a week, nine to five, every single hour time slot was filled with a, wow. an interview, and I I only offered three individuals a position. Okay. Um, there's a huge turnover rate in in this industry. Okay. And I don't have one. So all those friends that I talked about, yeah, they still do this. Oh, okay. Every single one of them still does this. Nice. Because it's, I mean, there's not, there's no reason not to really. Right. Um, some of them have reasons why they chose to maybe uh, have us another job and do this just when maybe storms come or something. Oh, sure. Um, but everybody still does this. I don't have a turnover rate. Yeah. And. Uh, that's that's huge for me. I yeah, don't, if, if you start working for us, I, I want you to stay with us. Yeah, you know, we're a pretty tight knit group. Um, you know, just uh, on Friday we were out at Top Golf, oh, nice. just enjoying the yeah, enjoying fun. the day. Yeah. You know, good yeah. good work week. So <laughs> uh, we you know we do stuff like that. So you really got to fit the mold and really be an honest person. That's that's huge for me. So how has the uh, recent increase in material costs or even I don't know if you're experiencing on the labor side too has that affected your business much yes, yes. so um, GAF does a or GAF has a number of different lines HDZ shingle is their newest line of shingles um, these have an unlimited mile an hour wind warranty okay um, you use these products pretty much exclusively because you found them to be the best? Yeah, so GAF is the innovator, um, founder of Asphalt Shingles. Um, 
They have a plant right in Minneapolis where they produce these shingles. Okay. So, you know, they're made for our climate, in our climate. Okay. Um, they have the best track record out of all the manufacturers of shingles as far as the, uh, the warranty of their work, the, the amount of shingles that they have not had to discontinue or deem defective. Okay. In comparison to certainty, certainty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. So they're based right out of Minnesota. They're Minnesota made. Um, certain certain lots are okay. Minnesota made. Um, okay. You know, there's there's a number of plants across the U.S., but um, most of the shingles that you see here were made in Minneapolis. Nice. Um, but the, they have an American Harvest line, which is more like a multi-tone type oh, color. Sure. Because of more dimension. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, there's more dimension and color to them, but when COVID hit and they had all the shutdowns, they stopped producing all American Harvest colors. So huh. none of these shingles are available right now. Okay. Um, the Hunter Green in, in a regular shingle is not available right now. Um, that's that's huge. Um, it read decking plywood. I don't know if you've. Uh, do you guys do some of that work? Yeah. 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 So. I mean, the, the price changed from uh, six bucks a sheet to forty-eight dollars a sheet. Dang, that's that's huge. Oh yes. Um, I mean, it doesn't really affect our bottom line or the homeowner's bottom line if it's an insurance job. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. a huge price increase. Yeah. So if I got a quote from you, like uh, I don't know, six months ago, but you you know it was winter time and you couldn't do the work or whatever or too busy. And then the price has gone up that much. Let's say I don't know how much has gone up in the last six months. Is that a you know upfront conversation you have with them? It's like, hey, is this is the trend of material cost right now? I don't know what it's going to be. Are you trying to account for that? I mean, that would put you in a difficult situation. You know, it's, I'm, I'm asking you, like, how much is this going to cost? And you're, I don't know what the price of plywood's going to be in six months. Right. You know? um, so all of the estimates that we do are good for thirty days. Okay. And thirty days only, and. Uh, a lot of that contributes to uh, uh, a program that we use called Xactimate. Xactimate okay. um, uh, updates every single month based on uh, the labor in your zip code. I mean, zip code based, um, and they update the pricing of the labor, um, how much a barrel of oil goes for, because it, I mean, it oh, makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we kind of change our pricing based on that every single month, so that we are. Um, right in line and, and up to date with the most current pricing where we're not, you know, trying to account for the future and charging more than we need to at that moment. Mm. Um, but then also not on the opposite side of things, keeping a price for longer than we should have and losing money on oh, it. Oh, sure, sure. Um, you know, I want to give people the best possible deal that I can, yeah. but you know, not, not lose shoot money. yourself on the foot. Right. Yeah, got it. Now, one thing I found uh, interesting about your business, Platinum Restoration and Remodeling, was this thing I seen hanging on the wall in your break area. And uh, before you got there, I took the liberty of taking it off the wall because <laughs> I didn't want to forget to talk about it. It says here, Platinum Restoration and Remodeling, LLC, has achieved the exclusive status of Master Elite Weather Stopper Roofing Contractor for GAF. Only 2% of the roofing contractors in North America have achieved master elite status. That's pretty awesome. And it goes on to say, uh, based on their, your uncompromising commitment to the highest standards in sales, service, and installation. What did it take to get something like that, man? Only 2% of contractors have achieved it. What did you have to do to achieve it, and what do you have to do to maintain it? Um. So to achieve it, we had to start out um, in the base level. So I guess I should back up because every shingle manufacturer has a program kind of Similar. like this. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not going to name the name, but there's a different manufacturer that if you send them a check for 700 and some odd dollars, you're, you you're, get a you're, piece of yeah, you're certified for the year. Okay. <laughs> um, that's not how GAF runs things. Yeah. Um, so we started off as a certified contractor where we could. Um, offer the warranties backed by us with, uh, and give them the lifetime uh -huh. shingle uh -huh. and that warranty that came with it. Um, and we had to do that for a number of years. Um, throughout our time being certified, they would randomly go check our jobs oh. um, just to make sure that they were properly installed. Nice. Um, they still do to this day. Okay. Um, they 
uh, request reviews and feedback from the homeowners that we have done the jobs for. Um, we have to have been accredited with the BVB for so long. We have to have certain insurances. I mean, they are pretty. They're not messing around. No, no, that's yeah, pretty legit. Good. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a lifetime roofing system that is warranted for a lifetime. Wow. I mean, that's that's huge. Yeah. So, um, you know, we chose GAF to get certified a long time ago. Uh, they got good housekeeping stamp of approval. Oh, okay. You, yeah. You know, they, yeah, they do that, the yeah. one. Uh, they they take a line of stuff and test it out and ask reviews and. Just give one product their their okay. stamp and GAF got it. Um, like I mentioned before, for a number of good reasons. So we went uh, yeah. went behind. I mean, I I wholeheartedly believe that this is the best shingle on the market. Yeah, and that um, makes it easier to sell. Absolutely. If you don't believe in your product, so yeah, good luck. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna try and sell you something <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> right. Um, in, in another thing you mentioned when you showed me your training room around the corner is that. Uh, I believe GAF wants, you know, because they want their product installed right, they there's some training that your contractors have to go through, correct? Correct. Um, everybody who works for our company, um, all of our subcontracting crews, um, they all have to go through a certain amount of training um, every single year. Oh. Um, they call it uh, care courses, and uh, you everybody's required to meet so many credits okay. um, you know, whether it be by attending webinars or taking classes or, sure. or or whatever the case may be they have to get so much education in, in a year and stay up to date um, and then at the end of every year uh, GAF actually analyzes who performed better than others in the program and uh, they've been eliminating uh, some of the oh. underperforming companies interesting um, all right, so you guys been in business since two, 2012. Um, things are going well. And w w where do you see this whole machine headed? I, I know you you worked to find uh, find some high quality salespeople recently, so it doesn't sound like you're slowing down at all. No, 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 <laughs> no. This trains this trains are moving. Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, really, it, breaking into. Uh, more commercial projects okay. is is really the next step. Um, flat roofs, is that what you're thinking? Flat roofs, yes. Um, more, yeah. Flat roofing is is huge, and there is a big need for it. Um, but we need to perfect one thing before we can move on to the next. Sure. I mean, I think that's a big mistake that a lot of people yeah. make is trying to do too much at one time. Yeah. So I agree. while we are pretty much om almost solely residential right now, uh -huh. it's because I don't think that we're perfect at it. Okay. Right. So yeah. once we're perfect at it, and I could basically step away and it could run itself. Yeah. Uh, because every system just runs so smoothly, then we can move on to other things and and maybe some fire restoration or water restoration things okay. like that. Nice. Um, but I mean, if you look at some of our like reviews online, you know we have pretty good reviews, and that's because we are really good at the one thing that yeah. we are good at. Yeah. You know, we kind You're of not a jack of all trades, master of none. Right. You're a master of one. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, that, that, that's that's really good. Um, so, let's see. You. Uh, what town did you say you were from again? Did you say I didn't? Um, I've since five years old. I've been in Elk River. Okay, still Local live in guy. Elk River. Yeah. Okay, local guy makes it big from Elk River. Um, done construction a little bit in high school. You know, after high school, you tried several different trades within the the, the construction world. Uh, you worked a little bit out in North Dakota, which sounds interesting. Um, you had that. Uh, Man, scary, scary fall, and uh, survived that. You're a tough dude, man. And then, uh, and then you and your friend got this going, and things are going well. You specialize in residential exterior contracting. Now, if I'm a local resident, um, and I'm looking for a new roof or siding, or I maybe mean, maybe my house got hit by hail. What, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Is there a website you like to direct people to or you like to have them call you directly or um, either or? 
Yeah, you could go to the website and, and do a you know like the contact us button, you know, platinumrestoration.com. Okay. Um, but my cell phone is always on me. It's okay. seven six three. Oh, you're gonna give your cell phone up? Two six seven five seven eight four. All right, say it again. Seven six three two six seven five seven eight four. This guy's dedicated, man. That's his cell phone. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't take days off. <laughs> that's not a thing. Um, and that's obviously going to get a faster uh, response than, oh, sure. than the online stuff. I'm not always in my front of my computer. If I had the choice, I wouldn't be at all. Yeah. So. Yeah. Gotcha. Good. Well, I'm impressed. I think your future's bright, and uh, I'm interested maybe to come back in a couple of years and and hear what else is going on. So, yeah, I'd, I'd love that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hopefully, I got some really good stories. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> all right, Dustin. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.